Alright, so real quick before I keep going on, I just wanted to show you, uh, and I just took 10 minutes to uh, blend all this in. See, it's all blended in now. Um, it's starting to look nice and uniform. You can see up here in the front here. Let me take these off. Um, see so yeah, how it all blended in? Now I just got to do these side pieces here. Get in here with that. And if you have a Dremel, Dremel works really well because you can put like finger grooves and whatnot. Um, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. I kind of did it on this bow right here. So, it, you know, it fits nice and comfortably into my hand. This little nice thumb groove and whatnot right here. So that, and that way also you could get in here and work, work your ledge. Because uh, really, honestly, this right here has the most, for, I mean, from what I experience has, is one of the most uh, important things for accuracy. I, so I still got quite a bit to do on this bow here, but as you can see, it's already working in the, in the uh, ledge and working in all these grooves and stuff in the handle. But uh, I got this one pretty much roughed in, so I'm going to do a little bit more roughing in, and then uh, I'm going to think about backing. Um, I've backed bows before with, uh, with many things, and um, you know, if you look online, you can see bows backed with anything from rope to paper and snake skin, and I use linen and silk pretty often. Um, I think just for shits and giggles really, uh, I, I, I'm going to try denim. I got an old pair of jeans that, uh, I think are going to work really good. I'm going to, I'm going to try to back this with denim. So, um, the next time I post, it'll be about, uh, be about the, the backing and, uh, doing some of this finish work, the more, uh, precise stuff For up till now, pretty much all I've used is my, you know, 70 dollar Ryobi, uh, belt sander and uh, a jigsaw really. Um, so those are pretty rough cutting tools. Everything else from here on out, it's going to be with, uh, will probably be with hands tools and I'll do some palm sanding. Um, one of the things when we start getting closer, and it's really hard to see with this camera because it's uh, not the greatest quality, but is making sure that you have a smooth, uniform transition. Otherwise, the wood is going to, see, like I could, you could go over it with your finger and you could feel it. Like I feel like I got a little, I must have dipped down a little bit too much with the, with the belt sander here. And that's one of the problems with using the belt sander because it takes off so much in such a short period of time that it's very easy to take a, a little divot out of here. Now that divot may or may not cause my bow to bend more here than bend more uniformly throughout. So what I'm going to want to do is take that out, but at the same time, I'm going to want to take out the same amount on the other side. So effectively, I've probably taken out a few pounds of, uh, of draw weight out of this bow because of that. Um, and that's why it's important once you start getting to this finishing work, you want to use, you know, I, I, even a palm sand that works really good uh, with, a, with a high grit so it doesn't uh, take off a whole lot of uh, material. You can get in here and, and, and get this nice and uniform and smooth. And I, I like when I'm doing this like multiple lamination type wood, I like to really round everything out too, and then keep the backside completely flat, uh, where my backing is going to go. So, um, so next time I work on this bow, it'll be uh, I'll be ready for backing and stuff, and uh, we should uh, be able to fly through it here from pretty quickly. Like next two videos or so, we should be done with it.